Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwame Asha'ala. Koholoyim la Yahweh ba'ashim Yahweshai ba'ashim. Rekai ha'kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akiyam. And Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments. Of Yahweh ba'ashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Ahnan the Waf just coming at you with, a, with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible that came out of the land of Egypt with Moses. That's your biblical nationality. You're not these names that the so-called white man gave you when he, you know, enslaved and colonized you. You know, and we're living in the last days. This, this truth is about waking up the elect of Israel. And, um, you know, it's just high time to awake out of sleep because the kingdom is at, at hand. So I wanted to touch on this article right here because, um, you know, coming into this truth, if you're new to this truth, you're going to have to know that uh, when it comes straight down to it, this is not a, a color thing. You know, everybody is not going to look, you know, as dark as, um, you know, a Wesley Snipes or, you know, whoever the darkest person that you may know. They're not going to all look like that. Some of them are going to look just like this guy right here. And some of them are just going to straight plain look like, you know, damn Joe Biden. You know, I got to just put it out there plain. You know, some 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 are going to look like um, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee isn't it was an Israelite. Some are going to be out here looking like, uh, uh, you know, North Koreans, South Koreans. Japanese, so-called white people, Filipinos, Cambodians, Taiwanese, all them. Hey, Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth as a punishment by the Lord. So the seed line goes through the father. Our men have been having sex with the women of the other nations. And sometimes the color just has been taken over. The color, you know, back in the ancient days, Jake was a lot more darker. We were a lot, you know, more of a darker complected people. But, you know, being scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and mingling with the, you know, the other women of those nations, you know what I'm saying? Now, generation to generation, hey, that whole look can be lost. Like, like right now, you like, like, say, for instance, you got um Patrick Mahomes, you know, if you, if you notice, he's a very um light skinned brother, but he's with a so-called white woman. And if you look at his dad, his dad was actually a, a, a darker brother that got with a so-called white woman. He ended up coming out being really light skinned, you know, with somewhat, you know, um, looked like he got the recessive gene eyes, you know, but he married a so-called white woman and look at his children. Google me, um, Patrick Mahomes, um, little boy and his little girl. They look just like little white kids, but guess what? They're Israelites. So if that son were to grow up and were to get with another white woman, that to that, that, that color is gone. That's it. It could pop up another third or fourth generation of some shit here or there. But that's that's a wrap. It's all it's all a done deal, you know. As far as that color, the kinkiness of the hair, the whole thing, man, it's just a wrap. It's over with. But anyway, I wanted to touch on this brother right here. This is the guy right here that jumped off the um the cruise ship, um a few weeks back. And at first, when I first heard the story, it just sounded like some you know some 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 so called white people shit, you know. Because Jake don't normally, you know, get into it. He could have been so damn drunk, though. Because they were saying that, you know, the old his old man was on him about being drunk. So I can't see being that goddamn drunk, though, where I'm going to, you know, jump from that type of height off into no damn shark-infested waters. But at first, like I said, this is the first I'm seeing of this guy. I never seen a picture of him. They wasn't showing any pictures of him. They never did find him, neither. They, they um ended up, um you know, uh just stopping the search. Because, I mean, shit, the, the ocean is vast, man. Ocean is vast as hell, man. They done a search for him, but never found him. But anyway, you can clearly see he got the little kinky hair. You know, let me bring it up real quick. See? But he look, you know, the average person would look at him and say, that's a so-called white boy right there. So that's why we say when you first come into this truth and you're going out to teach on the highways and byways, you got to chill on that color shit, man, because it's not about colors, man. And let me get this real quick. What was it? Um... <laughs> When is it Romans 8? Because if their spirit bear with this with these scriptures, man, it, it is what it is. No, it's not that. Uh, what is that? It's a lot here. Bear with me real quick. Yeah, you want to be careful of um, be careful of that. 
Because you, you know, I mean, if they're part of the elect, they're going to get it anyway. But you want to be careful of having somebody kissing your goddamn shoes and boots like some of these camps be doing. Because that could be an Israelite kissing your damn shoes or boots, man. Because I, I notice a lot of videos where Jake, you know, just get to going in on people and they, they don't even investigate as to who they are. You have to ask some questions, brother. What's your um, nationality? You know, you know, you you know what what's your your you know what your dad is, your 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 grandfather, your great grandfather. You know, they might tell you your mom, you know, some about their mom and this, that, and the third. But it doesn't go by your your mother. It goes by your father, which is what those Israelis do over there in, um, in Israel. They they say that their seed line goes through their mother, but that's stupid as hell because the male he carries the seed in his. You know, it's ball sack, man. Those are kids already swimming. <laughs> All he got to do is let loose in her when she's like earth. You know, she's like ground. She gives that, that seed the nutrients that it needs. And once that seed comes forth, it's exactly what the dad is. It's real simple, man. But I wanted to get this one real quick. Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself beareth, bears witness with our spirits that we are the children of Yahweh. See, if the spirit bear witness, you can have somebody walk up, man. They can look at the signs, you know, and see the 12 tribes of Israel and get to ask them some questions. And they not bucking up and they standing there and they actually listening and they asking sincere questions. And they can look like motherfucking um, chopsticks, man. He can motherfucking have uh, goddamn, um, you know, the Bruce Lee shoes with the chopsticks, you know, and, uh, and, and, and swinging the damn nunchucks, man. With accuracy. <laughs> but he could be an Israelite if he's standing there and those, those, um... You know, those scriptures is res resonating with them because the, the, the children of Israel were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. It's very, very simple. So let me go back. I want to play the video because I want to show you. You'll see the, um, you know, his dad, you know, you'll see his mom because his mom could be a Jake, too. She could be, too. But let's play it. A young man jumped to his death from a cruise ship after a drunken argument with his dad. 20-year-old Livian Parker was on the last leg of a four-day Caribbean cruise with his father and brother. See that? Now his brother looking a little more Jake like, and maybe it's just his hair, you know. You you know um uh, you know these these people man with that, they they you know they just gotta let the hair flow, because you know the scriptures talks about it's a shame for a man to have um long hair, but you know you, you know how these motherfuckers get down anyway. But you can clearly see, now it's not a color thing, cause this 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 man right here he could actually be a tear. He could actually be a so called white man just looking like a so called black man. Cause that goes down too. That's the other. That's the other side of the spectrum. But the point that I want to make with this lesson is, is that you can't judge a book by its cover, so to speak. You can't look at somebody and say, "Up, oh, you that, you this, you that," because you just never know. Because Jake is the salt of the earth, man. Jake be having um, like the apostle. He he done a um a, a video earlier talking about um um this particular subject. You know. This is very, very important to know when you first come into this troop because you don't want to offend one of the little ones, man. You, you got these damn camps out here. Got people actually not bowing down because they look like so-called white people bowing down, kissing their damn nasty ass boots. And they could be Israelites. You playing a dangerous game doing that, man. Anyway, though, but you could clearly see, you know, because like I said, again, she the, the woman, the wife right here might even be a, um, a Jake. No. He looking like, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, got that that look of that, you know, somewhat well to do. They out on a cruise. He probably ain't, you know, ain't never really associated with black people like that. You know, because some Jake will, will just get the get their education and they'll get the fuck on away from niggas. <laughs> which is which is probably about best. Man. Well, let's play the rest of the video. I'm gonna grab the scripture, man. When he leapt overboard after his dad reportedly confronted him about being drunk, a witness says Parker and his younger brother Seth had been chatting happily in the hot tub just moments. That's crazy. His brother's name is Seth, right? Isn't that that's a that's a that's a spiritual name, man? Because we know that Seth was next in line. You know, after Cain killed Abel, man. Seth was like the one that kind of, you know, bring back the righteousness as far as that seed line going. So, you know, I just thought that was spiritual. But let, let, let's play some more. For his demise, he says Parker yelled, I'll fix this right now at his dad before jumping out the window. The U.S. Coast Guard has suspended its search. A young man. And there you have it. And you can clearly see, you know, he had them braids, man, back right here. You know, that hey, he definitely, you know, got kind of got the little Jake look. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know about this shark shit. Let me see, though. Let me go back. 
Salakia, where he was, uh, you know, dealing with this goddamn shark. I don't know nothing about that, duh. And look, appeared to be a shark, Salakia. Ended its search. After a drunken argument with his dad, 20-year-old Livian Parker was on the last list of his dad before jumping out the window. The U.S. Coast Guard has suspended its before his demise. He says Parker... Right See? I don't know about that there. He looking pretty um Edomitis right there, though. But this is a Jake, though, man. I believe this is a Jake, you know. But like, you know, but the point that I, you know, like I said again, wanted to make is that you can't tell a book by, judge a book by its cover, man. This is, um, let's go to, this is how we go about our nationality. Fuck what Esau talking about. We don't believe nothing the so-called white man say anyway. Because he's a goddamn liar, man. There's no such thing as biracial people, multiracial people, mixed people. That's some shit he came up with. As a matter of fact, if you if you look it up, if you Google it, you'll see that it, it was popularized in the 1970s by a, a lady doctor and shit with that biracial shit. Because everybody, you know, before back in the days, you would already know. Okay, hey, this is the you know the seed line goes through your dad. It's still like that in the east over there. Right, but this is number chapter one. Let's start from the top. And Yahweh spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their pole. See, it says the house of your fathers, not the house of your mothers, man. Every male by their poles, not every female by their poles. That's why when you go, even go into Matthew, the book of Matthew, and, and you look at the genealogy of our Lord, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you can clearly see that there's nothing but men being named off. You got um, um, a couple of women in there, you know, in, 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 uh, but, but they're not a part of the genealogy. They're being mentioned as the wives of certain men, like, um, you know, uh, Rahab. Um, they mentioned, um, I think, uh, Ruth, you know, but the seed line goes by the dad, man. It's simple. Let me jump to, and matter of fact, once you see it, you know, from there, let me read on, um, verse three, it says from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go to war, go forth to war in Israel. Thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And see, we know that those Israelis over there in the land, you know, that they're, you know, they're not the real um, um, Israelites, man, because we didn't have women in our military. They got women in their military over there, which is stupid as hell. No women got no business in no military, man. They in the Holy Land over there, you know, got all manner of crazy shit going on. But they're supposedly be the chosen people, man. You know, it's just and, 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 mother, and people out here clowning them right now. You know, they're not getting um, the reception of the world that they used to get no more. They, they motherfuckers all over, all over America is not, you know, they, 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 they protesting everywhere against these people, man. And here you go. What did America just do? They just gave them another $26 billion, man, in aid. Well, I tell you, and, and people, people pissed, man. But anyway, this name's off the suns right here. This is how you know that it's going off into the man, uh, uh, you know. The men is naming off the tribes right here. You got um, Reuben, Simeon, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, so on and so forth. And you're not going to see no women in that. But let's get to the point right here in verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So what does this word pedigree mean? Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Let's get it in the Hebrew. Let's see what it says here. Your pedigree is is pretty much like your ancestry, your family tree. Uh, where is it at? Do they even have it? Oh, here. Oh, they got it as a phrase. Yalad, and they yeah. Okay, they got it as an entire phrase. H thirty two oh five. It says to bear, bring forth, begot, gender, travail. And really, it's going off into begot. That's overall what it is. Let me see here. A primitive root, yalah, a primitive root to bear young, causatively to begot. Yep, see, that's that that right there. Let's look up this word beget, though. That's a lock. I want to see. Oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. Dag on it. 
Let's go back into it real quick because I want to see what that word begot. And I want to look up this word pedigree as well. Let's go into it. Let's see. Uh, no, they not. Normally you can go into the definition. Here we go right here. Let's see. Let's Google define it. It says literally, it's a verb, literally, typically of a man. See that? Sometimes of a man and a woman. Nope, it's typically of a man, man. Bring a child into existence by process of reproduction. See that? Similars, it says father, sire, engender, generate, spawn, create, give life to, bring into being, bring into the world, have, procreate. See? Can't get around it, man. If that word begot, that's going off into the father, man. That's why, you know, when you look, like I said again, when you go off into Matthew right here, all you're going to see is begot, 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 begot. <laughs> Simple, man. Starting from verse 1, Matthew 1 and verse 1. The book of the gen generation of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So this is of generation. Matter of fact, in the NLT over here, it says this is the record of the ancestors of of Yahweh Shai, a Mashiach, a descendant of David and Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez. So it's going to go into five. It says father in the New Living Translation because that's what it is. It's the dad. But see, when you go back over here to the um, KJV, it just says begot. Right? It's the same thing, though. Abraham be begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. And Jacob begot Judah. Judas and his brethren. Well, like I said in the NLT over here is perfect because it's letting you know that this is the father. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Judah and 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 his brothers. Let me see what they um how they got um how they word Joseph down here. They says um 19 Joseph her fiance was a good man and did not want to um no hold up Salaki and that's not what I want. Uh verse 18. This is how Yahweh Shai the Mashiach was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. See, they try and make it seem as if, you know, the Holy Spirit came down and got her pregnant. But when, when the, the power of the Holy Spirit could be on anybody. See? The, the power of the Holy Spirit is, you know, on men to do the things that they do. All the, all the prophets, the power of the Holy Spirit was on them to write the things that they wrote. The power of the Holy Spirit was on, on, on someone like Samson or even our Lord Yahweh Shai or even like, you know, um, uh, even with um, when you look at the, the birth of John the Baptist, the power of the Holy Spirit was on Zacharias and his wife to have sex. So these Christians are trying to push on you that, the uh, you know, that Mary was a virgin that got pregnant by the Holy Spirit, which is a complete goddamn lie. And it's stupid as hell. That's that's confusion. The Lord is not the author of confusion, man. See, in the, NL, in the KJV over here, if you were to read it, oh, you know, I remember being in school when I, um, you know, um, went to school, had a pretty decent English teacher. But what they would do was they would have to, come, you know, like have you hold off um, a certain word or phrase to get a better understanding of what's going on. So let's let's read it in the KJV, verse 18, Matthew 1 and 18. Now, the birth of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, was on this wise, when as his his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. So basically all it's saying is his mother Mary, she was espoused to Joseph. What that word espoused mean? That she was married to him. Because being espoused and being married, it's the same old thing. It was just that they didn't have a, a ceremony or, or, you know, like a celebration, so to speak, because sex constitutes marriage, right? But it says, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. See? Verse 9, let me see. Uh, Okay, so now let's reread it. It says, Now the birth of Yahweh Shai Mashiach was on this wise, when when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. So if you just take away, let's see here. I'm trying to think if that's the verse that I wanted. No, this is the verse that I want. Right here, Salakia, verse 16. 
And it, it says, and Jacob begot Joseph. See, Joseph is a part of that seed line. The father, that's, that's Yahweh's dad, man. He's it's telling you right here. But a lot of people, they'll skip over it. That's why I was saying, I'm going to remove this little phrase right here and, and check it out. And Jacob begot Joseph. Of whom was born Yahweh Shai, who was called um, um, Mashiach. So I'm, let me read it all together. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. If you remove the part that says the husband of Mary and you just read it. And Jacob begot Joseph, of whom was born Yahweh Shai, who was called Yah who was called Mashiach. Then that that clearly, you know, kind of clear it up that, OK, well, no, he's really his dad. And it's in a couple of other scriptures. But anyway, that's another lesson. I just, you know, seeing that and wanted to just, you know, <laughs> kind of mention it because, you know, this lineage right here, it, if it was if it was just the Holy Spirit that got her pregnant, why would you need all these names? Why would you need all these men? As a matter of fact, it talks about 14. Let me see how many generations, 14 generations. Verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations and from David unto until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations and from carrying away into Babylon unto Yahweh Shai are 14 generations. So here you go. 14 generations, 14 generations, 14 generations of men being named off to all of a sudden get to the point of saying, nope, none of those men ever even mattered. The Holy Spirit got her pregnant. That shit is stupid, man. These men are being named off for a reason because he came through the seed line of these men through sperm. And Joseph was a part of that seed line, bro. Hey, we can't make it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and, and, and really only the elector, you know, or the elector going to get this. It's, it's not hard to understand, really. I mean, I get that, you know, our people have been brainwashed with Christianity um, their entire life. So, you know, you kind of like, you know, when you hear it, it's like, huh? Because we you we've always been told that, you know, this is this virgin birth. You know, you even got some of these Christians talking about she never even had any other kids. But yeah, how I had brothers and sisters? Clearly in the scriptures. Two of his brothers wrote um, books in the scripture in the New Testament. So these Christians are bugged the hell out their minds, man. But I wanted to just chop this up real quick. You know, we you know, we can't do enough of these types of lessons because this is um milk. A little bit of meat, though, you know, it's a little dark saying to it because a lot of our people, they really just, you know, they they they've been taught that they're black, that they're American, that they're, you know, um, Hispanics, native, you know, um, Native Americans, you know, um, um, Latinos and Dominicans and all this other shit. And, and the so-called white man, he got you thinking that you 10 percent this, 20 percent that, 12 percent this, 4 percent that, 8 percent this. Like, well, what the fuck is you talking about? That shit is stupid. Your seed goes by your father, man. All our people are not going to look like Wesley Snipes, man. Because you even got some camps out here that's black, only Israelites. I had a dude on my, um, I done a lesson on Cardi B, um, about a week or so back. I forgot what it was even, um, it, it was something, it was something to the extent of her nationality, though. You know, that, you know, and I was going off into pretty much the same subject. And uh, some clown, he goes on my, um, comment board. Talking about all oh, y'all guys, they not a part of the Israelites, y'all guys through. Some damn Israelite that ain't got no lessons. Talking shit with all that black only Israelite shit, man. So don't be listening to these people, man. It don't make no sense. How how in the hell would it? And some of these people be looking like, some of these, these Negro only Israelites, they be looking like this guy right here. Like, motherfucker, you a step away from looking like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ben Shapiro or some shit. And you talking shit, talking about some black only Israelites. None of us are black. We're all different shades of brown. Black only Israelites. Man, look, the Lord gonna start destroying some of these niggas, man. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.